Hello, everyone. Exciting news. The long-awaited humanoid robot fighting by Unitry finally took place on the evening of May 25th. It was held in the Olympic Sports Center in Hangzhou City and was broadcast live by the state-owned China Media Group. Unitree began promoting this competition in April and cited its preparations as the reason for not sending a team to participate in the Beijing Humanoid Robot Health Marathon. The competition included two parts, a performance and then the competition, all using Unitree's J1 robots. J1 is about 130 centimeters high and 35 kilograms. Four contestants were all non-professionals. They used joystick remote to control the robots, standing closer to the boxing ring. So this should be called human-controlled robot boxing match. For the match rules, it's based on points earned in three rounds, each lasting two minutes. For the scoring, the valid hits to the torso or the head only. For the arm hit, one point. Leg hit, three points. For the knockdown, each knockdown is five points. If the robot cannot stand up in eight seconds, the round will end immediately. Equipped with boxing gloves and a helmet, J1 can perform eight basic combat moves including straight punches, hooks, and kicks. It's generally fun to watch, but you will also notice the missed punches or the moments of stuttering, can't find the opponent or direction or striking into the air. In one round, a robot even fell down after a single strike. At times, the referee had to step in to separate the robots or pull one back into the ring. Lu Xin, a tech media professional won the competition. This match proved a win-win to both Unitry and the China Media Group. All robots used are Unitry's J1, and the China Media Group will host more events. That is why the title is called CMG World Robots Competition Series. Another company called NGAI, or Zhongqing Ren, is also planning to host regular humanoid robot matches between teams. And this may happen in December, but stay tuned and I will bring more updates soon.